Tick tock, tick tock, time is marching on. If you are planning to sell your house, you might be wondering how long does it actually take to sell your home? Well, there's a number of different answers of that. Basically, it depends. If you want your home up for sale this week, we can make it happen. But if you have more time and you're you're trying to plan ahead, uh, getting in touch with a realtor and planning ahead well in advance is probably going to be your best bet. This is Emily Cressy, your digitally enabled Puget Sound community advisor. Hi, this is Emily Cressy. I have been investing in real estate for the last two decades. I grew up here in the Shoreline, Washington area, and I am a real estate broker to help you both buy and sell your next real estate transaction. Today, we are talking about how long it actually takes to list your home. Now, there are a number of things that take place, and I don't just think of it as listing a home. I think of it as doing a marketing launch. So if you've ever been involved in corporate America or gone to trade shows or any of that where a company is coming out with a new product, say the iPhone, it's not just like, hey, this is now in stores, right? They build it up so much that there's a line around the block on the opening day. People are sleeping overnight ready to get this thing that has now just come for sale. So when I launch a property, I don't like to just put it on the market or list it. I like to uh, do my homework and get things going. What are some of the logistical things that need to take place? So there's a data entry component. We need to collect the information about your house and get it onto the MLS. That can happen in a day, but it's really the bare minimum. Uh, The sign also needs to be ordered. And now because of don't dig rules, uh, they have to send somebody out from the utilities to like make sure the place that the signpost is going is not going to run into some water pipe or something like that. So that takes a couple of days. But again, that's not a big deal. What I think is a big deal is positioning your property well. And I think a week is probably the minimum time in order to get that really done right. One of the, the big factors is photography. I think having excellent photos and videos in many cases is absolutely essential toward positioning your home well because that is what people see on the internet. When people shop, they shop on the internet. They're gonna be scrolling through the MLS. They're gonna be scrolling through Facebook and see our ads. They're going to be seeing pictures or video, maybe hopefully both, of your property before they decide to come out there. Now. 60% of people who watch an online video of a home for sale will eventually come out to look at it. But it's really um, both getting their attention in this, you know, crazy hard to keep attention world and uh, selling them on taking the next step, which is to put this on their list of homes that they want to take their time to drive around on the weekend or after work and go take a look at. So having great pictures is essential and we need to get the photographer out there to do that. Uh, That can again be, fast or slow, kind of depending on the supply and demand, but you know, is it a big spring rush? Is is there space in the market for him to get that on his calendar? Uh, Also, what is he taking a picture of? Is the home, you know, the the same home that's kind of been fallen into disrepair over the last 30 years that you've lived there? Has it been um, recently upgraded with paint and carpet? Any other improvements that you feel could benefit the perceived value of the home. What about um, cleaning? Having it professionally cleaned is great. Maybe you're a better housekeeper than I am. I'm not a very good housekeeper. But if you're a good housekeeper, you can clean it really well. And um, if not, you hire somebody to get it done, right? So you hire that out. uh, And then staging. I love to stage homes. I think it really helps with the imagination. They say it's the the imagination, kind of the right brain, the emotions that make the choice to buy the home. And then it's the left brain, the logical side that comes up behind us. Like, yes, this will be a great investment. This is a good idea. You know, we'll build equity, those types of things. But it's like, oh, I've, I've fallen in love. You know, the beautiful kitchen, the master bedroom suite, the, the wonderful, peaceful yard. You can just imagine yourself there and having those emotions is what sells people ultimately on choosing your home and really committing to it and and paying the price, making the strong offer they need to get it, right? So I think that staging is very valuable and I recommend and I often, you know, will pay for some staging to be done in your property if it's otherwise vacant and um, sort of dry. 
I want it to capture the imagination of the folks that are in there. And so staging is something that takes some time. And so, you know, again, depending on your timeline, we may or may not have time to do that. So once we get all these pictures back, you know, we've got to make flyers. I do postcards. We do a mailing to everybody. We do a video tour. We do that to advertise it. Uh, we get our, our marketing lined up online. I call people in the neighborhood. There are a lot of different things that need to happen, but the biggest lead time tends to be associated with having the best vendors, uh, getting everything on our marketing plan checked off the list before we go live. If you just want to throw it on the market, that's fine. We can do that too. But if you want to launch your property, let's talk sooner rather than later. Even if you're still a couple months out from being able to um, move and get the property sold, it's a great idea to start thinking and planning. And I consult with people on this because I think it's so valuable. What is the strategy? What are your goals? What must you have? What would be nice to have? What don't you care about? All of that can come into play in terms of how we position your property to go live in the marketplace, what we ask for uh, from our buyers when they're submitting offers. Uh, if we want to get an inspection ahead of time and uh, see what the buyers will see so that doesn't gum up the works when we're act act actually under contract and uh, the buyers get scared and they want to renegotiate, maybe we can catch those things early, fix them ourselves, get it all taken care of so it's clean as a whistle when the buyers come that's one less thing for them to worry about one less contingency for them to renegotiate over when the inspection report comes back so uh, there's a lot we can do there's a lot of strategy the more time you have available the more we can kind of work with these different variables and customize and craft a plan for you and the less time you have available that's fine we can just march through the list get it done get it get it out the door and um, in today's market, that may be enough for you to have a very successful launch because uh, it's certainly tight. We certainly have a lot of buyers relative to the number of sellers. So I expect you would still have competition over your home. Uh, that's at the time of this recording. I don't know when you'll be watching it, but let's talk about it. Let's make a plan. Uh, if you're at this point where you're doing this research now, call me now. Let's make a plan. Even if it's not for months and months, you're not ready to list yet, or you're going to sell a half a year from now, that's totally fine. Why not get some help, answer your questions, get the data you need to make a good decision. I am all about um, education and communication. I want to be a conduit and a resource for you to get the information you need about marketplace trends, data, a uh, second set of eyes on your home to give you that professional feedback so then you can go and decide what repairs are gonna be cost effective and which ones aren't. You know, do we wanna invest in this or do we just wanna leave it as is? We'll be able to make a better decision about how to work with that uh, once we put our heads together. And so uh, let's, let's make a plan for your property. Let's customize something specific to you. I am Emily Cressy. Again, you know, I am a realtor. I am a, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm Emily Cressy. I'm a real estate broker. I'm a real estate investor. I am a Seattle native. You know, I love this stuff. This is what I do. I'm a full-time agent. So let's see how I can help. And again, you know, ultimately every decision is yours to make. I just want you to be well educated when you make it. So reach out to me. You can email me, call me, text me, send me a private message here. Uh, jump on my website, homeproassociates.com. And I will look forward to answering your next questions. I am here to serve.